Hey guys, welcome back to another sweet DIY gym equipment video. This project was requested by my bro, Dad Shredded, as well as several other people who have DIY cable pulley systems attached to their rack. What is it? It's a universal footrest for cable rows. That's right, no more sliding on those heavy sets. Before you get started with this project, make sure you know how to use these tools. If you're unsure about it, ask a friend or family member to help you out. DIY projects are awesome, but being safe is even more awesome. I start off by cutting my 2x4 into the pieces I'll need. A 26 and a half inch piece, a 20 inch piece, a 14 inch piece, and two 6 inch pieces. On the smaller pieces, I mark 3 and 7 eighths inches from the bottom and draw a line from there at a 45 degree angle. Once these lines are marked, we can go ahead and cut them. Yeah. The 1x4 is cut to 26 and a half inches, and the inch and 3 quarter dowel is cut to 12 inches. I measure and mark 7 inches from the end of my 20 inch piece and use my combination square to mark the center. This is where the hole for the dowel will go. I'm using an inch and three quarter dowel so I drill an inch and three quarter hole. You can use a smaller dowel for this if it's easier. You only need to go halfway or three quarters of the way through the 2x4. I drill a hole in the center of that hole. This is for a screw. It's totally optional, but I like to go over the end of my dowels with a roundover bit to get rid of the sharp edges. The dowel's not weight bearing at all, so one screw should be enough to hold it in place. Next, I attach the 26 and a half inch long 2x4 with a couple of screws. I use a mending plate to reinforce the joint. The 14 inch 2x4 goes on top with a handful of screws to keep it in place. The 6 inch 2x4s go on either side of this piece and are secured with screws. The 1x4 piece goes on top and should rest nicely on the angled 2x4s. Assembly is done. It's time for paint. I add 4 non-slip pads to the bottom. These help keep it in place while it's being used. The last thing I add is grip tape. This stuff is made for stairs, but it actually fits my build perfectly. Super easy to apply too. Once this is on, we're good to go. Links to all the tools and materials I use in this project are located in the description below. I put on 180 pounds and it's enough to keep me from moving. Remember, the heavier you lift, the more weight you'll need to stack on to keep it from moving. For more projects like this, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification button. I have a lot of great projects in the works.